Oh yeah, I'm recording. What's that? What's that in your hand, real quick? Just tell us what that is, real quick. Has the audio? Uh, From Chauncey. When it, all right, so uh, when you add, answer the questions, uh, try to like paraphrase the uh, the question itself. So like, right? Or are we yeah. gonna? Or are we gonna? Well, I wanna. I just wanna like let it flow first. Oh, okay. Let him let him warm up. To Sorry, it. dude. No, no, but that works. Tell him. Tell him what you gotta tell him. That's why we're both here. But uh, I want you to test the audio, like when he talks, so you can tell me. Just up to the camera a few times and then like, go. All right, you see? My name is Chauncey Jenkins, and you're watching the last man standing. Watching the last man standing. Yeah. <laughs> My name is Chauncey Jenkins, and you're watching the last man standing. Good. Just do that a few more times. Like, yo, this is Chauncey Jenkins. Be it like, yo, it's in your face, like, yo. Or just like, yo, this is Chauncey Jenkins. No. <laughs> like, yo. I'm, or just How like, is it? pardon me, guys. How is it? Where are you from? New York City. From the seven borough? Yeah. You already know. Alright, so let's check it out. Uh, give us uh how old are you? How long have you been skating? I've been skating for fourteen years and my yeah. skating for fourteen years and oh wow. <laughs> Two years old. Uh okay. what uh what kind of things do you prefer to skate? Are there tricks, obstacles that you can uh Absolutely hate, cannot, or will not do? There's nothing I hate, but my, I can tell you my favorite trick is top passing. What do you like? Do you like, uh, what kind of spots do you like uh, skating in New York City? I like the street, and the most I like is non rails and handicaps, gaps, bigger tricks. Like, I'm planning to do the rails, 720 rail. Sick. How do you, how do you motivate yourself to do? Do such questions. Motivate myself by to do such tricks. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> Get you used to skate. Oh uh, yeah, of course. Who else in New York City? Like any uh, icons here that uh, that you look up to? Any any people that uh, got you influenced to skate the way that you skate? Oh uh, yeah, you already know. Can I try not to give just one line or just in it when we're editing it? Yeah. Was it ESPN the uh, Cause it, so you started back in the days of ASA when we when rollerblading was actually televised. Wait, hold on. <laughs> what is that? You started you started back when like rollerblading was actually televised. Yeah, I started in '96. In '96. What was the scene like back then, as compared to now in New York City? Yeah, back then, the uh, skate you know they had no no soul plate, so you had to do your own group and. Had to make your own little style to how to grind and stuff. So um, how far, how far did you get? Like, what'd you ask me? You got the house. Just trying to trying to get it. Bring it to the shop. Okay. Shot. Like a shot. Uh yeah. So just tell us about a little bit about the New York scene and then compare it to Florida. New York City has, you know, more style, like, you know, my man Fish, and over there in Florida, they think about his ramps and stunt, you know? Mm-hmm. That's cool. Anytime, like, if you want, you can look at me, too, and what I'll do with you is you I'll, don't have to look too anytime I keep doing this, like, you can just, like, just be regular. Anytime, like, I keep doing this, means you're doing good. So just keep it going, you know what I mean? Um, did you get to, like, what did you guys talk about so far? What did you guys get to? How old you are, and where you skated, and where you started skating. And Still great. Like, give me an example. Like, have you been filming for any upcoming projects, or you did some big stunts that we can look out for? Or? And I'm um, filming for my little section for the summer. Mm-hmm. But right now it's too cold, so I can't do it. This Who are you filming with, and uh, and what's what's like, where are you guys going, where are you skating, and what's stuff like that? Right now I'm skating around, trying to plan to go to Philly or Boston. Okay. You ever been out there? I've never been there, but I heard there's a lot of rails and huge stuff, like gaps. Tell us a little bit about the, the I just saw the trailer for uh, Jason Stane's new video. Oh, yeah. Tell us a little bit about what, what happened there, how that day went, and like what's, what was that stuff like? Because like, you said that like day went, Yeah, that day went well. It was in the Yankee Stadium, mm-hmm. and I had to like kind of like kind of rush because I thought we was going to get kicked out by the security guards, but we didn't. 
So after that, I started doing my tricks. Gap to Rayel, 360 to Rayel. So I laid it down, and it came well. Uh, I'm just going to dip into comps a little bit. Um, do you skate comps a lot? I'm trying to see what we can make a difference. Like Tricks, tricks you already know. Basically, everything is done. But there's some bigger tricks that you know, like I'm planning to do right now, so I'm going to do right now. <laughs> Sorry, man. <laughs> we got Alex's dog on the set. <laughs> All right, what was it? <laughs> What was the question? The question, uh, what, what about rollerblading do you think uh, needs to be, is there anything that needs to be changed about rollerblading? Are there things um, that, that we can do as skaters to, to be more impactful on you know, the general crowd, like the, everyone, like the media, the masses? Like what can we do to you know, prevail as skaters or something like that? What, you know, give me some motivational words and inspiration. You know, I see skating is going good right now. I mean, you got Victor doing last man standing. It's, it's really putting us up, you know. If it wasn't for him, you know, my name wouldn't be out there like that. You know? But it's going good, you know. That's what's up. Um, I, had, I had something. Um, Go for yeah, it. I'm just going to hit you with some like, in-between stuff. Um, <clears throat> Like with the last man standing, do you like do you ever prepare? Like when you're just skating, like it's the winter time now in New York. Yeah. We all we, we can't really skate streets. It's fucking cold, it's snow it's raining. True that. Do you prepare? Like do you keep yourself like how do you stay skating and, and keep your tricks without losing them? Do you skate park? What do you do to what do you do to maintain your paper? So you know, but you know, what got me up really was in in Florida. You know, I was there for two years, so it equal like four years in here in New York. Because the weather, over there, the weather, the weather's too nice, you know. So that got me really, 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 really up doing my tricks and stuff. So you're comparing, so you're saying like Florida's got, like one year in Florida is like two years, no, one year in Florida is like two years in New York because you have the full year to skate. Yeah, you got the full year. Okay, that's a good analogy. Could you like say that in one sentence just so like, uh, like <laughs> yeah, just like, I don't know, like one year. Because, yeah, go ahead, go ahead. You know, I was skating in Florida. For two years, and that equals like four years in New York, because you know you can't skate in the winter, but to go and skate park and stuff. So you know. That's good. <laughs> but um. Here. Oh, we yeah, just. Yeah. What I liked about it. Yeah. I, I love. Uh, hold on, I gotta, I gotta phrase it a question. Yeah, you can definitely. Um, what I liked about Last Man Standing contest. It was, it was like a pilgrimage to Mecca, you know? You don't see rollerbladers come together like that in, in, in such, a, such a profound sort of way. And everyone at the, at the park knows each other, and everyone, you know, was, was feeding off each other's energy. The whole crowd was feeding off, of, like, the energy of the skaters. And then it just it turned into a, a, a huge session. Aside from the contest, there was people, like, killing it. On the sidelines, maybe people didn't even see, you know. But that's that was the best thing about last week. Anything, sure. anything huh? about it you didn't like that you maybe would like to see different from 2010? I just you know, copyrights. Yeah, like 2010, uh, maybe they could, you know. I don't know. Yeah, in 2010, like Chauncey was saying, man, don't skate that bank ledge. <laughs> <laughs> I hate that stupid bank ledge, man. The uh, I don't know, 2010. I think that uh, I mean this was my first this was my first one, but I think the uh, the AM contest, you know, I think it's a really good thing to have to have like a, a children's division and have a uh, to have a like an AM division and a pro contest as well. But I think that it shouldn't be left to AMs to qualify for the pro contest. Like, and, I mean, if kids have the confidence and they think that they're able to skate along with the pros, I think that they should be able to have the opportunity to skate with their with their favorite pros in the same contest. You know, I think that would be cool. Let me ask you some. I don't know, Vic. Like, don't don't judge me. Let me ask you some random questions. Uh, do you know who the other guys that qualified for the WRS were? Uh, Chauncey Jenkins. Can you like, you know, just say like, okay, like. Uh, oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Like, 
didn't. Um, yeah, we'll have to chop up drunk stuff. Yeah. Um, all the other last man standing qualifiers and qualifiers, Chauncey Jenkins, James Perez, Trevor Johnson. Is he one of them? Sort of. He was kind of like a wild card. He was a they wild card. They kind of knew that he was really good. They knew good. that he was already in. <laughs> really good, but yeah. just not pro, you know? Who, tell me, tell me um, who they were really quick so I can it repeat. It was Chauncey Jenkins, James Perez, and Sean Agoliati. Sean Ag Agoliati. What? Agoliati. Agoliati? Yeah, Agoliati. What can I say about the other amateur qualifiers for 2009? Uh, Chauncey Jenkins. I mean, the names say themselves, man. James Perez, Sean Agliati, and, you know, everyone was killing it. People, people that, even the people that didn't qualify, you know, there should have, there was a lot of talent that wasn't recognized that day, and, but, I mean, those three names put aside, those, those guys, every day, they're out there killing it all year, and, you know, they're dedicated skaters, very modest, you know, not, not cocky. They have a good head on their shoulders and good addition to the roller rink community out here in New York City. <laughs> you can uh, you can outro if you want. You know you know the outro. You can do whatever outro you want. Make some shit up and just fucking piss on the camera if you have to. <laughs> just anything, man. Yo. Just be spontaneous. Just outro. Just I wasn't sure if we gave you a good outro. Like that. It'd be like Damien Wilson, like screaming at the camera or something like anything, that. Man. Um, uh, yo. Uh, this is, da this is David Lang, your favorite white boy, and you're watching Last Man Standing. <laughs> We're gonna cut on that take. We're gonna cut on that take. Good hoodie. Bill, how you doing? Recording? Recording? All right, guys. Yeah. Guys, can we get a little quiet? Yo, Chunks. Can we get a little quiet? Can we get a little quiet? Can we get a little quiet? Thank you. Quiet, please. Thank you, quiet, sir. Please. Ed, whenever you're ready, just turn around, introduce yourself, and say, oh, I can see you there. Oh, this oh, is, I'm working on the new Last Man Standing stuff. All right? Go ahead. Yeah, whenever you're ready. Huh? Hey, my name is Ed. I'm a designer. Sign of last man standing logo, postcard, even banners. Man, I can see you. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> That's good stuff, man. <laughs> That's a good setup, right there. Uh, just tell, them, tell us what your involvement is, you know? Okay, just so let it go. So, just, so this is Ed, Edwin, and you're watching Last Man yeah. Standing. You know, I'm from See? New York. This is, you know, I represent Ed. Thir just anything about yourself and what your involvement is. Now, well, ask me questions. Just All right, so. No, at first. Okay, well, I'm okay to build up to it. Okay, so yeah. okay. just first, just tell us your name, where you're from, you know, what you do, and what, how you, why are you here? Who brought you? What are you, what are you doing here? I don't know. <laughs> you sent me. Okay. So, your name, where you're from, what you do. Uh, hi. Um, my name is Adam. Uh, I'm the creative the, the designer for Other Ground Studio. And, well, I'm involved with Last Man Standing, designing the logo, uh, postcard. And the way I got in was actually like accidental. I, I knew Victor for a long time, so we were skating or whatever. And I saw that the flyer that he did for Last Man Stand, the first one, it, it, really, it didn't really attract me. But then when I saw the, the competition, it was really fire. And then I said, nah, we need something good, a good design. I talked to Victor set it up, and he came out with a few ideas for the logo with a guy grinding and to make it look more official. So he gave me a few sketches, that, you know, pretty good. Uh, put it down, I made it, a little, I made it better, put it more into a mainstream uh, concept, mm -hmm. and come out really good. Oh, we didn't hook up the mic. That's why I need you here, man. I got you. I got you. Mic. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, do you think you can be the lights on the green screen and the camera? Right. right. Not just like that. Send that and you, you can talk to him, you can talk to me. You just don't look at this camera or Jason. This is for like side profile. <laughs> Yeah, don't worry about it, man. Just be yourself. You can look at the shit on the wall if you want, you know. Queen's Bridge over there. You know? <laughs> Anyways, just, um, how's the audio? Can you, uh, you can say LMS if you want to, but just say Last Man Standing. And then just state your name and you know the rest. Just for an introduction. Alright. Hey, what's up, everyone? This is Alex Nunez. And you're now tuned in into Last Man Standing. How what happened? I, uh, <laughs> we're all set now. Well set? Hey everyone, this is Alex Nunez, and you're now tuned in to Last Man Standing Comp. That's good. Last Man Standing Yeah, you can say Last Man Standing if you want. You can say Last Comp, man. you feel comfortable. Hey everyone, this is Alex Nunez, and you're now tuned in to Last Man Standing. That's good. That's good. Uh, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> everyone, you better watch the fucking shit. Like... No, even Roscoe's falling asleep. Look at this shit. You can't do that. Hey everyone, this is Alex Nunez, and you're now tuned in to Last Man Standing Comp. Oh. <laughs> hey everyone, this is Alex Nunez, and you're now tuned in to Last Man Standing. Perfect. You don't want to do it in Spanish, do you? Do you want to? Do you want to do the? Do you want to do, do, do the whole interview? Oh, yeah, I gotta be bilingual now. No, I'm asking you what you feel comfortable with. You feel more comfortable with English or Spanish? I don't know. It's You're skating and, and uh, tell us, you know, tell us what got you, like, tell us how you started skating and like who was part of your original crew and where are they Ooh, now? We're getting deep here. Just not, no, we just, what we're doing is we're going deep for a split second and then we're jumping to now. So just tell us like how long, like how old are you, how long you've been skating, and a little bit about that. Um, I am uh, 25 years old and I've been skating for 13 years now and I'm still, still skating, still long and hard. Um, Going to, to who I used to skate with, I used to skate with uh, a couple of friends around my neighborhood that I started with. And uh, from there on, I met up with Joe Dodensho, and he introduced me to everyone that pretty much from New York that they used to skate back in the days. And, um, and I met up with uh, Omar Morsi, Pedro. Steve Cortez, Paul Cortez, and all the local cats from New York at the time. This was uh, 1997, and I was put in a crew called SLB. And uh, from there on, it just kept progressing my skating, and uh, to, to, it made me who I am now. That's good, man. Where are some of those n names you mentioned? Joe Dodencho, uh Oh, they're still around. Uh, they, like, out of those names of the people that you started skating with, like who's still skating and who's not skating and stuff like that? Uh, it's hard to say because uh, they're not around. All, all those uh, people that I started skating with um, all went their own ways, you know. Uh, most of them quit for whatever reason, and uh, I just kept it going. Just, just kept skating and uh, met new people, started traveling, and uh, it's, it's been a great experience. What kept you skating though? Like, what? Yeah, like what? Oh, what kept? What kept? You oh, well, all right. So what kept um, you going? Pretty much the passion of skating is what kept me driving, keep going, and uh, and the love for the sport. Um, you know, I, I used to break dance before skating, and, and I was really into break dancing, break dancing with my crew, and and battling other people, and as it was uh, one time in Flush and Meadows that I was there with breakdancing, and uh, I was walking by, and it was 1996, and it was, the, I believe, the ASA, and all these folks were there skating at the skate park. They built a, a, skate, a little mini skate park in the pool of Flushing, and uh, it was, I believe, Aaron Feinberg, Josh Petty, all these folks were there, and it was just amazing to watch. And since that day, that's, that was the first time that I started skating, you know, I went to Models and got me a pair of cho uh, RB chocolates, and from there on, it just kept kept going at it. I stopped breakdancing and just went to skating and just stuck to it, and I've been doing it for 13 years now. And uh, yeah, 
that's dope, man. Uh, you were going deep. I ain't really, you know. I mean, I'm, I'm just pretty much just letting it flow. Truth, yeah, you know, that's, that's a lot of too, people man. don't know that. Keep doing that's what true, man. Just letting it flow. Because I wanted to segue from interview. two things you said there about, like, back in uh, with the Miss. Uh -huh. um, it was the ASA. Oh, right? I'm sorry. <laughs> ASA. Uh -huh. One is, what do you think, like, the WR, like, what do you think, or how important of the, the role is the WRS now? Like that, we don't necessarily have the ASA. Like, well, do you know anything about the WRS, or tell us what you well, know about it, and tell us what you think it's good for? And I can. All I know is that um, in order for you to be a part of the WRS, you have to have a pro group, right? You have to have a, so. you know, to, in order for you to compete, you have, you have to, to be pro. You have to be pro and have a, a pro group. No, you just need to be pro for a, for a company. For a you company? don't have to have a pro group. You just need to be well, pro. That's for, what I, that's so you can have like a pro frame or like I think like a pro wheel. That's what I was told. I think so. Mm -hmm. Well, I guess we gotta do some research. Comparing that to the WRS, how do you feel? How important do you think the WRS is? Uh, the WRS is very important because AS, the ASA is not around anymore, and the WRS is pretty much all we got left now. You know, to to keep the skating game alive, you know, anywhere here, especially here in New York, you know, because that's all we have. But uh, there's also other um, the IMYTA. Yeah, that's what we used to host. Yeah, but really that's ain't. not really around anymore. So. Yeah, that's crazy. So right? it definitely, the WRS is definitely important because all these other competitions are, that were held before not no longer exist. And, uh, and we got to keep, keep people skating, keep people involved because a lot, of, a lot of these kids out here skate um, because they like skating, because they love skating, they want to continue skating because they love the sport. So WR, the WRS is what's carrying them together and keeping them, keeping them still skating. Yeah. Let me, um, <clears throat> you need water or you good? I need water. Yeah, you want some water? You grab some water? Thank you. <laughs> I know you're very picky. Style is like really important to you. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> Trick selection, that sort of stuff. Tell us a little bit about like why you're so picky or like why, like, you know, style and just anything. Like, I don't even know if I have a question for you. I just, it's like, cause half of the stuff that Okay, so done, tell me because you're, you're bringing it to, to situations to, that we've been in with skating. So like, you, so know, like, you know, we've been out filming for like, let's right. say the 50-50 edit. Right. And you'll take me to and a spot. I'll, or you'll take me to a spot right. because you you know what you want to do already. Mm -hmm. um, and I might be trying to shoot an angle and you're telling me, no, I, have, I need it to look this way. It has to look this way. I need to see this angle. Like, nah, I need to be portraying in the best light. And what has gotten you to that point and were you always like that with regards no. to how you come across? And uh, do you think it's necessary for skaters to start taking control of how they come across okay. the camera? Um, that is something that um, grew to me, being picky uh, with filming, you know, because when I first started filming, it was for VG, and I was really not being paying attention on how the footage would look like. I was just skating, and I'll, be, I'll have a filmer, and he'll film me, and we'll just get the clips in and send it out. But um, as uh, time went on, and, and I'm filming for other videos and stuff like that, I see myself in the videos and and kind of be like, you know, it should look this way. You know, it should look this way. I want it to look perfect. So for the next video that I'll film for, I'll tell the filmer, you know, film this way because it'll make it look perfect. And or I'll do it over again. If I, if I mess up the trick, I'll do it over again and make it as perfect as possible. So I could see myself in that video, you know, le legitimately, you know, just... Yeah fresh and um, coming back to, to that you know when, when we were skating and I, I doze off it's cool man it's cool man this dog is distracting me back here. right right here he's the tap in throwing yeah. shit around leave him alone right. what? Yeah, throwing things in. <laughs> playing fresh with the dog yeah. um, it's always good here tap dancing in the back you know what talk, right. talk oh. about like your style of skating like I mean some people have styles in terms of what they skate and what they don't skate. What, how would you break down your style in terms of preference of what you like to skate or what you don't skate? Or is there anything that you do or don't skate? You know what I mean? Like, um, I, li I like to go tight on my tricks. Um, I like to do, especially do things that no one's ever seen before. And just be original, 
you know, just, you know, watching videos and seeing other people do this and that. It's like, you know what, let me, let me tweak it around and let me, let me do something different. You know, let me do a different switch up no one's seen before. Um, and I'm always trying to progress myself, you know, because a lot of new tricks come and, and I want to also do them. And, and, and I've always progressed at my own pace. So when, I, when I'm filming, I just want to just be as original as possible, be as unique as possible, and just, just stick with the style because that's pretty much my, the most important thing, I think. You know, like you could go big or whatever, but it, it, it all matters to how you make the trick look. You know, you got you gotta feel it. It's like it's, it's an art. You gotta feel you grinding, and and it's the, it's the best feeling when you when you perfect the trick. You know, so. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Let me uh, another one. Um, as far as I'm concerned, I mean, you won like East Coast what two or something. That East Coast, I think it was, yeah, the second one. So you've been, skating, you've been skating street for a long time, you've been skating comps for a long time, you've been winning with low class, you know, financial background, you know, so a lot of these kids get the opportunity to get sponsored and, and travel and compete and, and, you know, make a name for themselves. But it's, I've been trying to do that, but it's hard when, you know, you have, you have to pay rent, you have to provide for your family, you know, you have, you have responsibilities, you have that, you can't just get up and leave and go somewhere to, you know, to just skate, you know, there's, there's things that get get involved and things coming away and, you know, you can't go forward with what you want, really want to do, so, now I do try my best to, to put myself out there and skate the hardest I can, and, um, man, it's just rough, man, you know, it's just like, Skating, it is, it's not much money into skating, you know, because uh, it's, it's pretty much the same as having a nine to five job. So it's, it's a risk that you take, you know, when you, when you go compete and you go as hard as you can. And if you don't win, you go, go home with nothing. You know, I mean, you had fun, you had the, the great experience, but you still got to go back home and deal with what you got to do at home. So it's, uh, it's, it's difficult, but. All right. But yeah, 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 yeah. We'll do it. So and I then can gather it together. And, uh, uh, we'll see. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about what it was like shooting for those videos and what can we expect from you? Can we expect some values, some technicals? Can we get some stylus out of What can we get? Okay. You, you record? No, are you, are you all set? Okay. Listen, you, you let me know. Um, as far as categorizing what, what type of skin suit? Because uh, I heard you. you. It's crazy but stuff. So. I did crazy stuff, but it's not as crazy as what I've done before. Okay. You know what I mean? Putting my life on the line. Like yeah, yeah. It's just more cautious skating, but yet giving you. <laughs> you rolling? <laughs> that sounded like Are a you rolling? I, I don't know. That's I, cool. I thought we were waiting for okay. it. I hate it. You love him. No, nah, I do love him, but, you know, <laughs> but you it's, hate it's him. a lot of responsibility. <laughs> like, um. I heard you just say like the stuff in New York, like mm -hmm. New York compared to everything, but I, like just the question, yeah, like what is it, what is it like? Get into the razor video, getting into Jason's stuff. Yeah, just kind of tap on it just a little bit, you know, just, you know, it's just good stuff, you know, but I'm, you know, I'm not trying to kill myself at the same time, you know? <laughs> say that? Yeah, yeah if you want. Uh, okay. So... So you're going to be uh, expecting a couple of videos that I'm going to be steered in, um, starting. Damn, yo. <laughs> that little thing, it was like a reflex, and it just messed it up. Like. So, you know what? Go into the New York scene for me, man. Talk about it. What's going through the New York scene? Compare it to whatever other scene you've been to, and uh, as best as you can, without saying too much. And, you know, I mean, it's just to talk about your experience. So to compare skating in New York and elsewhere, uh, New York is more of, you have to deal with a lot of stuff like security, getting kicked out of spots, um, skate, you know, hate to, to mention it, but skateboarders messing up your, your spots, also bikers, you know, other, other people that do the same, that share the same spots as you. Um, and just, People watching too, you know, because that could be a distraction. 
to wherever you're at. Um, they could, you know, you could either be skating and hear laughter uh, in the background, laughing at you. You got to put that aside of you and just focus on, do, you know, doing what you're doing. And, um, and I mean, to compare it to like maybe Cali, you know, Cali, it, oh, uh, it's perfect, like for skating, like weather-wise, you know, here it's, you got to deal with the rain, snow, you know, winter, summer, sometimes it's too hot to skate, you know, so, you know, you got to watch out for that and, uh, but, you know, make it happen, so, it, Great, I, I usually do this, so I'll, I'll keep nodding my head because it's going good, you know what I mean? Otherwise, I'll do one of these. I'll do one of these. <laughs> <laughs> Cut it. All right, uh, so you were nodding your head there. Yeah. I, I mean, the, by, but leaving that as an outro to, to that. What's that? Is that a good outro to, to leave as that, you know, comparing the New York scene to other places? What, what, we'll probably take a little, little sound like that. Right. Sound like, you know what I mean? right. If you want to rephrase and say, like, if you want to skate with them, it's always good. And, and, you know, it's not you had your thoughts together. Right. But I think it works, man. It works, it works, it works, works. Yeah. Well, But if you want to then go back to the whole um, the razor stuff and kind of like just tell it, all right, I'll start it all over from the beginning. Right. I know you got some, some footage in the new razor video. Do you even know when that's coming out? No. Right? No. All right. No. You know, like, people don't get in touch with me. You know, if I try to get in touch with them, it's like, don't pick up your phone. They're too busy. <laughs> whatever. It's all good. <laughs> It'll come out when it comes out. Come out when it comes out. And you also have footage in a new video from New Jersey called Signature. Right. That also features Wolja and Downey. Can you tell us a little bit about what you can expect from you in either of those videos? Uh, you're going to expect my, my, my current skating, pretty much. Uh, what... what um, the level that I am in now, and um, where you're gonna be seeing uh, tech tricks, you're gonna be seeing style. Uh, I don't know you how know to put it together. You can, you can, you can kind of like just let them know that you're being a little more selective with your skating, because I'm, I'm sure like a lot of the other videos you skated in, you skated whatever they wanted you to skate. Now it's you skating what you want to skate. Uh, right, how right, you right. Wanna skate and not like, yo, Alex, what do this trick for me? You know, like. Okay. Instead of saying style and, and text, you know right. what I mean? Say it's more selective in terms of style. Those are like the okay. key words you use. So for the video, uh, Rolling Film Media vi video signature, you're going to be seeing more of a selective skating um, because I'm skating more of what I want to skate, you know. Uh, bringing it back to, to all the other prior videos that I've skated for, it's been um, a certain spot that I had to skate, uh, a certain area. You know, the the filmer would take me to that spot, and I would have to skate whatever's there and make make the best out of it. But in this video, you're gonna be seeing a lot of my skating, a, a, my selective skating, what I want to skate. Um, and of course, you know, the swag is gonna be in there, all that stuff, and uh, a lot of text. You know, and when I skate, I surprise myself all the time. You know, cause uh, I. I improve that very moment, you know, because I'm doing something different, something I've never done before. And that's the best feeling ever. So you, you'll be seeing uh, really pretty much the best game I've ever put out there. Um, but also, it might not be as the same as going hard and doing all these crazy stunts because I'm skating more cautious now. You know, because I'm not trying to get hurt. I'm going to school. I'm going to work. You know what I mean? So I'm older. But I'm still giving you that fresh game that I've always been given. So so check that out. And it's also going to be in uh, HD quality. So you'll be counting the, the mustaches on, on my face. You know what I mean? Like, it's it's going to be. That's fucking good, man. <laughs> I already put that in there. So. I was gonna ask you like, what do you 
and, and pretty much nah nah it's a little too personal that's already just laying it out there you know what i mean just No, you gotta, you gotta refresh my memory. Oh, wait, hold up. You gotta, you gotta. No, but I don't want it to be rolling because I want you to mention when the first comp I won. Because, dude, I, I, I forget, I forget. Right. <laughs> I was there, but how it's changed now, you just tell us um, which one you when you won in 07, so that's what that was like. Tell us how it's changed from 05. We'll basically start off by all right, you've been to the last couple of years, right? Like how was it in 05? I know you didn't see. How was that competition in 05 and how did it compare to let's say 07, 08, and even in the last year? Like 07 being the last year. Okay. Uh, the cop, the last man standing cop in 05, it was uh, mainly more local skaters in, in New York uh, and um, maybe Jersey, you know, just, just the local area. And um, 07, 06, we didn't have a last man standing. 06, uh, 07, more and more people started getting involved in the comp. Uh, so a lot of people from outside the states were coming in to participate for the competition. So there was more people. Uh, and uh, and it was great, man. You know, and it changed from 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 '05 to '07. Just the amount of people. And um, what else? So bring it, bring it, bring it from then to now. Like, bring it from '07 to now. Just bring it to '07 to '09 when you were back and all these other all the other styles. Were you? What was your position in that time? Did you have to qualify, or were you already in qualify? Well, let's bring it back to 07. Yeah. That's that's the one that I won. Um, you know, that, there weren't that many pros there, but you know, there was a good amount. And uh, don't remember who, but all I know is you know they were behind me. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm my first place, you know. But but uh, <laughs> try to get a little cocky. Uh, um, it, it was a great skating. Uh, I don't know, man. I don't know how to put it, dude. I don't even remember, man. Um, um, this, uh, I guess you know what? Tell us what that winning experience was like. You know, that whole experience. Okay. Just for you, All not right. the people, not the front, just how you felt skating 07 when you won that comp. Uh, what was that experience like? Okay. My experience with uh, the 07 comp was un unexpected because um, I, I joined the comp not thinking I was going to win, you know, and... Pretty much my whole objective was just to have fun, skate, skate the spots that were there, just have fun and enjoy myself. And I was just going with the flow, and it just took me to to being hype and being consistent, and um, which ended up me winning the comp, and it was great. It was it was a, it was an amazing feeling. Uh, you know, it boosted my ego, I guess. You know, so to say. Oh, but yeah, it it was great uh, skating with with the rest of the people that was at the comp and uh, and it's a good feeling, man. That's cool. Like what we just talked about on the side that was off the camera, that was off camera. Tell us the same thing you told us. Like what happened in '08? Like why didn't you why didn't you skate in '08? Right, right. So let me give a little backstory. And even if you have to talk about, you know, just give me the actual story. Like tell us, yo, the comp wasn't too bad. Too much. Okay. Uh, '08. Um, last man stand, standing comp uh, was held at the banks also, which I thought pretty, you know, I, I was like, why is it is it being held at the same spot as last year? Um, so I was a little bit annoyed about, about that, but um, whatever. You know, I joined the, joined the comp just again with the same attitude of having fun or whatever. And the last spot um, was a PVC box placed on the stair stairs of the drop rail and you would have to gap to the pvc box grind the box and you know land that was a little sketchy for me you know it was a little wobbly you know and 
and I, I believe somebody broke the PVC pipe and it was a little piece sticking out. So I decided not to escape that. I didn't want to get hurt. So I told Trevor to take it. You know, you know I'm like, here, you, you can have this cop, <laughs> pretty much. And he took it. So, so I know his mind is there to win the, win the comp. So it's like, all right, you got this. Now, now, last man standing comp in 09 was, was totally different from 08 because there was a whole lot of people there from all over the place. The WRS got involved. All these pros are coming in. So it's kind of, uh, it's kind of uh, overwhelming, you know, just to see all these pros that I used to look up back then and just escape right beside them. So... So, and um, so like the fact that the the comp was held at the banks didn't really occur to me. You know what I mean? So, uh, so again, the same attitude of having fun and just being around with the people you want to be around. It was it was great. You know, it was a great comp. Um, and and you make it to the finals? Uh, yeah, I made it to the finals, was but it, um, that, that... I made it to the finals. But the thing was, it was a little too late and it got dark. And the last fight, it was just too hard to see. And again, it was a box placed on the stairs, and you have to gap to the box, or you know, come, you know, get a little tech and go from the rail to the box. But still, it was a little too, too dark to see. So you know, I backed out of that one too. You know, I'm like, I'm not, I'm not even messing with that. Cause really, I'm trying to watch my my injuries. And I'm not trying to get hurt, and then I can't skate no more. Can't, I wouldn't be able to skate for for Jason's video. Uh, you know. For the signature video, wouldn't be able to escape for the Razor video. So you know, there's a lot of, you know, cautious, cautious skating that you have to you have to do when you have other things laid out for you. So I backed out of that that comp. And even even though I backed out, it was you know it was all good and I was there having fun. And right. No, 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 I'm good. <laughs> met the Mets. The, used to rep the Mets, but, you know, they're doing a little bass. But, you know, yeah. uh, so this is Alex Nunez, and I hope everybody out there that's watching continues skating because you love skating. And uh, does, don't even listen to uh, whoever, whoever's talking and hating on you. You know, just keep, keep doing what you're doing. And uh, peace out. Uh, nah, I ain't like that one at all. <laughs> <laughs> Right? Uh, I'm getting a little, uh, I think that's it right there, but. Yeah, I don't know. Nah, I, don't know. I think uh, she gave she gave a little bit to the, to the dog. So this is Alex Nunez, and uh, check me out on the upcoming videos. Um, raise a video. What the hell? I forgot what it's called. Yeah, game theory. Game, game theory. Game theory and signature. This is Alex Nunez, and uh, catch me in the upcoming video, Game Theory and uh, Signature by uh, Rolling Film Media. Peace out. No. <laughs>
breakfast with uh, Jesus Medina and a girlfriend of mine, banana and uh, blueberry pancakes. It was pretty bomb. And then I went and taught some kids how to swim. It rocked. Yeah. It's the best, man. We cleaned it out. We cleaned it out. The sun rose, and then, like, it dried the place real quick. And then we just, like, we skated mainly the quarter pipe. And then the, there's that, like, there's two walls. We skated the one that was steeper. And we just skated it from flat ground. And, like, you can lace the whole thing. You know that? You can lace that whole wall. You know, like, the one, there's the two walls. They're, like, kind of, like, embankments. Yeah, it's like this. It, one's, like, one's, like, like this. Yeah, yeah, the one's the one that's steeper, right? Yeah. It's the longer wall. You can ride that whole wall. We waxed the fuck out of it. It was cool as hell. What I was thinking is to ride the ledge that leads up to the wall. And then jump and to, then to, the, to the first, like, so do the yeah. first ledge that leads up to that first, not so steep wall. Yeah. Do that. And you want to drop down. You know what really pissed me off? That wall is... Well, if you're mountain, if you're operating the camera. That yeah, wall is chunk now, you know that? What's that? I mean, unless you want to ask a question, then I'll operate the camera. Whichever works for you, man. Let's just do it. That wall is chunked as hell. I've been rolling actually. Cool, cool, cool. Give us a quick introduction. Give us your name. Yeah. From wherever you're from, and then tell us. Yeah. All right. My name is Sean Agoliati. I reside from Poughkeepsie, New York, but I'm actually, what am I talking about? Currently residing in New York City on uh, Manhattan 66, West Side. And, um, yeah. Oh, that's that's whack. <laughs> Let me start again, actually. Like back further? Yeah. All right. I got a Zoolander app and on. All right, I'm gonna start again, man. That's better. That's better. Otherwise, I'm like. Yeah, you brought the camera up too, that's true. That's pretty funny. All right, we're, I'll start again. My name is Sean Agoliati. I reside from uh, west side of Manhattan, um, originally from Poughkeepsie, New York, upstate, the 845. Uh, you are now watching Last Man Standing. Tell us a little bit about uh, yourself and skating and how you like how long you've been skating, how old are you, that sort of stuff. A little backstory on yourself. No doubt. Um, grew up skating actually. Uh, my brother got the ho first hoax video, and uh, one of our neighbors, we got a bunch of majestics and set up like a little like metal rail, and it was rad. We couldn't let go of it. You know, had to get all new skates every year. And um, I think I quit skating, though. For I took a little hiatus around, like, ninth grade. I stopped for, like, five years of high school. I went to a prep school and learned how to play lacrosse and, you know, just took a whole different shift. But um, when I got back to college freshman year, uh, one of the kids who introduced my brother and I to skating passed away, so I picked it up again and just kind of went hard with it. And uh, so I've been skating hard for since, like, yeah, 2004. 2005, and um, you know I love it. Try and skate every day. Getting older though, knees can't hold up very much. Greasy peasy. Nice. I still got pool water on me. Yeah, dude, the chlorines. I smell like chlorine. It's fucking annoying. Oh man. Yeah. You know, man, I, I, I can't say I have a style uh, only because I see so many good skaters out there with so much style. So I'm always uh, trying to come up with that. But uh, I like to skate everything uh, street, park, whatever. As long as it's fun, man. It's all about having fun, really. And um, really, I just try to go hard and have a lot of fun. And, uh, Pretty much it. <laughs> You'll see me do this, you know, head nod, head nod, I'll give you a thumbs up. That usually means it's going great to keep it, to keep that going. Got you know, it. If I only 
girl that you work with will be like, I should stop. And like, well, if you're lucky, <laughs> you know, it's going to lead to asking more questions. Who or what people you look up to, I guess, dating and dating, when you're dating sex artists, like that, that that really carries you now. Because you talk a lot. Yeah. Uh, when I grew up skating, it was definitely the dudes that you saw throwing down hammers in videos like Petty and Latimer. Uh, but recently, I think definitely, yeah, in the most recent years, it's been my uh, peers definitely that make me go hard. And uh, it's just fun skating with them, really. And I look up to any one skater. I respect, you know, pretty much everybody. There's some good kids out there, though, for sure, especially in the New York scene. Can you name some of those kids? Or even some I mean... Since since I've moved to New York, uh, the whole New York scene's been like an eye opener. I mean, I I skated with like the same five kids for like four years, and then I came here and I've met so many people like uh, Fish, Nunez, Trevor Johnson, Ado, Mendez, you know, old timers, new timers, even the young kids, dude. Everybody's out and about New York, so it's really cool to be out in the scene for sure. So you skated for Fishy a lot, and now you're in New York. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Even if it's out of yeah. state, you know what I mean? Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, when I, again, when I was in college and I picked up skating and it was in Massachusetts, and it was like a small town scene. There was Edge Skate Park and like kids like Jeff Downless and Craig Noller frequent that place a lot. Real sick park. So that's why I kind of like skated a park a lot there. Otherwise, the street spots were really, you know, few and far between. And I wasn't really traveling too far away from school, really busy with academics. And um, anyways, Poughkeepsie scene is also... It's like a small city, and all the spots are kind of just right next to each other. It's really dense. Like, you know, you do have to have a car, but otherwise you pretty much skate from, like, pretty much handrail to handrail. There's no play spots there. It's pretty unfortunate. But we kind of learned how to skate on, like, high gap rails and weird shit like that. Uh, we just built our first box this last winter. So it's like farms and shit like that. <laughs> Yeah, you know, I'm an upstate, yeah, upstate New Yorkers. So what's it like now being oh, being in, being in New York's the shit. I mean, I live on 66th and West End Avenue, and that's right near LaGuardia High School. When I first moved here, I was like, Martin Luther King Rails, LaGuardia High School Ledges, and it was like two perfect training spots. Um, I've kind of worn them out a bit, and uh, there's just a lot of, you know, there's a lot more, the diversity of spots is, you know, has increased in the move, and uh, the scene's a bit more... Uh, Aggressive as well. There's so many kids that are down to skate all the time. It's awesome. Like, I can call Ado up all summer, actually. Call Ado up, call Evan Grimble up, call whoever, and you know, you got a session going like that. I must say, some people are pretty uh, not punctual <laughs> and lackadaisical, lackadaisical about getting to uh, sessions, but whatever. You get them going, they'll last like into the wee hours of the night. It's Oh, summer 2009. You could skate all night, man. I mean, uh, a lot of ledge skating. I like to skate handrails a lot and different shit, but like, and it actually the same spots a lot of times. But um, again, like you see kids like James Perez. I've never met him before, and he's dirty. You see him skating ledges, he's dirty. Um, you can even show up at a spot having not called anybody, and there'll be kids skating that. You know, that's something I never had before. It's like a total treat, man. And uh, you get sessions going, kids get a little competitive, and it's just fun as hell. Um, again, like, with Victor Calendar put together the skate sessions, like, weekly or monthly, I forget what it was. But um, I think I went to, like, four or five of them, and I thought that was, like, one of the coolest movements I've seen in rollerblading. Um, again, I skated with, like, four to five kids consistently for, like, a few years. So it's just that. rad. Sorry. You meet so many people. And you meet, uh, there's so many young kids out there just coming up in the scene. And um, I know New York used to be like one of the sort of like meccas of rollerblading. And I feel like, you know, it might be on its way there again one day, you know. It's going to hit that peak. Can you guys, I'm looking for, uh, but I'm looking for pictures for something. I'm pictures where it's but I, I, I want something like, you know, mm -hmm. from, from being a kid that used to grow up and used to skating with four or five now being a, you know, a skater in, in the thick of it in New York City, like, mm -hmm. you know, what's that, you know what I'm saying, like that, you know what I'm saying? In the thick of it, it's, 
I don't know. I guess it's mind blowing. It's a huge transition, to tell you the truth. I don't know how much more to elaborate on the fact that it's just, uh, it's shown me a side of rollerblading that I only had seen through magazines and videos. And um, it's great to be in the thick of it, to tell you the truth. Personal, <laughs> personally. The people here are great. I think I, I skated in my first uh, street comp in 2008, the Kinetic comp, and uh, I think I made it to like the, the round before the finals. And um, I think my man Jesus Medina took like second or third place. Evan Grimble took like second or third, I forget. And I think like, Jeff Dallas won. Trevor Johnson also placed pretty high up there. It was a real sick comp. And um, otherwise, just in New York, I've been skating the comps around here when I can. Uh, Battle My Crew was one of the first comps, actually the first comp I skated in New York City. And then there was uh, Ado's competition. What was it called? Why yeah, Why So Serious? The Why So Serious competition was a total ball. And uh, I feel like that was my favorite comp so far, being in New York. It was uh, the diversity of, uh, you know, obstacles and... Um, the people out there, the skaters, was great. Um, and then there's last man standing comps, which blew my mind, to tell you the truth. The, the, out, the outcoming from the public also. There were people that weren't you know, just visiting New York that were watching the scene from the streets or from the, uh, the banks. And um, it was just sick. Calendar just did it up. Um, yeah, last man standing stuff, right? So, last man standing, I think, is like one of the most epic rollerblading events I've ever seen. Um, I think it brings so much to the rollerblading scene, only because you not only have the, the rollerblading community in the area, the tri borough area, uh, you have like all these spectators that are getting their first glimpse into the scene and they just see this massive like gathering of people that are so into the sport and you know really I mean the sport's not really bringing much to a lot of role players like financially but it brings so much to a person spiritually so it's cool and they, I think people see that when they see us skating and um, that's just the most rad thing about an event like Last Man Standing you have everybody that's out there you got the Groms you got the amateurs, the fucking pros, and then just dudes that drop hammers. It's crazy. Then, like, the banks, you can't have a better environment. You have a drop rail, you got the banks, you got the ledges. I think, granted, some shit there needs a little refurbishment or renewed, but, like, it's a real fucking dynamic environment to have a skate um, competition, you know? Um, I think the future rollerblading definitely depends on that. events like Last Man Standing, you know? Uh, to get the uh, word out there that people are rolling and we're rolling hard, for sure. I don't know how much you want to say to you, but you got a lot of good, uh, you got a lot in there. good sound. I, I read a few things. I don't know much about the WRS. Uh, you can skip it, because that's the same as fine. You don't know anything, so you don't know. Yeah. Nobody knows, and that's a great thing. But, <laughs> I, I remember reading a few things about Call of Duty. More over than the WRS, is it, it, it's more about the human side. For me, more so than that, it's about like skaters taking over their their sport. Their yeah, their yeah. Shit. You know what I'm saying? They do it get a little something so you can skate a little eventually. Like yeah. you know what I mean? So talk talk to me about that. If you don't know anything about the WRS, talk to me about the direction of the industry and what you see. Yeah. I mean, the direction of the industry that I see right now is, I mean. My shop sponsor, Tri-State Skate Shop, um, Greg Kiefer, he tells me a few things about like, you know, power shifts and the current state of companies, and some of it sounds hard to believe. Um, well, actually, it sounds almost too good to be true because of the current state of the economy, but like, it, uh, it's scary to think that sometimes these companies might not be there one day. Um, granted, I think that good things are happening. I think the products that are coming out with, uh, like, especially like Create Originals, 
they're very innovative. Um, I think that the skater-owned companies are coming out with you know better brands. Uh, I know I'm a big fan of Vibrolux and uh, Eulogy, all of them. They're just coming out with good products, good wheels. Um, I think skater-owned and skater influence is the way to go. That's the only way we're going to keep getting better products, hands down. Like, you know, this, the skates that are being designed these days, you know, better soles. I remember, like, TRSs and, like, you had, like, these, like, slap-on screwing grind plates. Like, to now, it's ridiculous. Uh, the feedback, the constructive feedback is a necessity, you know? And I think if we, I think, actually, we need an influx of money first. Then we can do the uh, research and development that would put our sport, you know, at the front line in terms of equipment, like, you know, snowboarding and skiing and shit like that. But for now, the shit works, clearly, because, you know, we can roll. And then closing, like, uh, you know, uh, what summer release for skate for 2010? What's 2010's? Oh, 2010's are just generating more hammers, man. More video footage. I see a lot of young kids coming up, and I can't wait to see what's good this summer with that, you know? Uh, I think that they bring a new life to the session. I'm an old timer, man. I feel like my knees are going out. I'm only 24, but shit. <laughs> uh, so it's cool to get out with the young kids and fucking, you know, throw down some long sessions in the summer night. New York City's perfect for that. And uh, like a concluding statement, last man standing. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that and I'm definitely looking forward to the uh, upcoming last man standing competitions and. Uh, you know, skating with all my peers, just throwing down. They're fun as hell. Thank you, Victor. Thank you, WRS. Thank you, LMS. And uh, thanks for rollerblading. Closing real quick? You want to do a closing? Did we do it? Oh, yeah. Oh, no, that was good. I want to actually just bring that, um, you know, 2010, you know, you got to watch out for the little kids. You got to be careful about what you say right there. Yeah, you bring James right in. Yeah, I'm sorry, man. I am so parched. <laughs>